Now this little chap was filmed right outside our bedroom window. I haven't seen one in about a year, so I guess they're back. So with that sighting, the squirrel feeder was filled to the brim with peanuts. I was sure it would only be a matter of time before our grey scavenger would make an appearance. There are rich pickings all through the year at the feeder for a variety of bird life with even the normally wary jackdaws showing up and helping themselves. These suspicious corvids normally bolt at the first sign of trouble but they kept on coming back for more. Let's hope our furry little fiend finds the stash before the peanuts run out. It normally takes squirrels a couple of weeks to locate a feeding station before making it a regular source for nutrition. But having seen one in close proximity only a few days previously, it was surely just a matter of time before this grey raider would be seen again. And sure enough, a few days from the initial sighting, the squirrel made a move on the peanuts. This will now be a daily visit, possibly many times during daylight hours, now that an easy meal has been found. They're voracious little creatures, and every week they will eat their own body weight in food. In springtime, squirrels will be playing catch-up after a lean winter and will often consume songbirds, eggs and chicks if other sources of food are unavailable. Now is the time to hammer down on this invasive species. Now that the squirrel has found the feeder, it's time to set up the gear. So my shooting position is from the garden shed, which is approximately 15-16 metres away from the squirrel feeder. And the setup is just a camo net fixed with nails. It's a really simple system, but very, very effective. So I've used this setup before, so we've got the feeder on the post. We've got a little Samsung camcorder taking footage from that location. But now I've also got a trail cam. It's quite close in. It'll be taking uh, footage from there. Plus the other trail cam, that's probably about five meters away, taking uh, the footage from the front. So the next job is to zero the scope from about 15 meters away at the shooting position on a target that's about the size of a five pence piece. So I'm back in my garden shed. So this is my Weirauch HW100 KT in 0.22, thumb hole stock. It's a really solid air rifle and the scope is my trusty Hawk Vantage SF side focus 2x24x44 scope. It's a great setup. Right, let's give this a go. Let's go and have a look at the damage. So there you go, that's a five shot group on a target that's probably not much more than a five pence piece. That's not too shabby, for me anyway. It's seven o'clock in the morning, it's a bit of an early start and it's time to put on that gear. That's quite interesting. Um, 
because the squirrel's coming down onto the fence, he's gone over to the feeder, he's had the quick look around, he's obviously not happy with what's going on there because um, he's gone off into the trees, maybe it's the extra camera that spooked him. Um, I don't think it's me here in my position because the jackdaws have been coming down um, and they're easily spooked so I don't think I can be seen from, from the garden shed itself. Um, I've been here about an hour and a half now and he hasn't come back so I'm probably going to have to rethink that one. So what I've actually done is um, I've moved the trail cam that was closest to the feeder just a little bit further back to give the squirrel a little bit more space and probably the confidence to come back onto the feeder to take those peanuts. Um, hopefully it'll work, whether it does or not time will tell and then we'll have another pop at him in the morning. So it's day two of the squirrel chase, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've already taken a shot just to make sure that the gun's firing on point. Uh, let's just hope uh, the squirrel turns up. I don't know if you'll see from the footage, but uh, I wasn't actually sure if I'd hit him, but um, as you can see, he's dropped a couple of metres uh, from the feeder itself, and uh, it was a clean headshot job done.